Hey there, my name is Cameron, better known as Venus Theory, and welcome back to the Cherry Audio YouTube channel. Today, I wanted to share with you one of my favorite techniques for generating melodies inside a voltage modular using only a single CV input source and combining that with the analog shift register module. The analog shift register module is a fast and effective way to send out a bunch of CV information to your cabinet that pairs nicely together and doesn't feel too unsorted and chaotic or random. So with that, let's dive in and check out the technique. Here we are with my good friend Voltage Modular, and first we should probably talk about what an analog shift register does. It's a lot like a traditional sample and hold module, but with one key difference. Here I've got a sample and hold module which is driving a random task using the clock output. That's being fed into a quantizer, so it's quantizing that information to a musical scale, and then that's going into the sample and hold and feeding this tiny voice module here. The clock is also providing the gate to the tiny voice, so we've basically just got a one layer generative melody thing going on here. If we bring up the volume, we'll hear that it's just a single layer melody. Now, that's not all that impressive, and from here, in order to create multiple layers to this, we would need to start duplicating sample and holds and random tasks and getting things to feel different from each other, because if we sent the same information out to the other tiny voice modules here, we're just going to get the same thing over and over. Let's swap these connections over to the analog shift register, though, because that's where things are going to get interesting. So let's shift over the clock, let's send the input here, and we'll set the output here as well. Now, the analog shift register is getting the same input, it's holding on to that information and sending it out to the pitch information here for the tiny voice, the gate is coming from the clock, I think you get the idea. If we turn up the volume once again, we get the exact same thing. But the cool thing with the analog shift register is that it has eight different outputs here, and this moves through sequentially. What happens with a regular sample and hold is information comes in, and when it receives a trigger, it holds onto that information until a new trigger is received. With the analog shift register, whenever a new trigger is received, the information rotates down by one. So one goes to two, two goes to three, and so on. So on each cycle, one is something new, and that new information gets passed through until it goes to eight, where it disappears into the void forever. If that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, it'll start making sense now when we bring in this second tiny voice module. Let's grab the clock here to provide the gate to the second module, and then let's put the output of one here to the pitch input. We'll wire this up to our mixer, and I'm going to pan these out hard left and hard right. If we bring up the volume now, we'll hear that these two modules are playing the same note. However, if we go back to the analog shift register and we shift the CV pitch information to the second tiny voice by one, we'll hear almost like a delay effect. Let's shift that down to three. And I think you get the idea. By using the different outputs, we get a delayed replica of that signal. And we can use this to create some cool melodies that pair nicely together because we're getting notes that were previously echoed and it feels a bit more musical rather than just totally random. To cap this idea off, let's bring in a third tiny voice module here, and let's grab the CV information from 7, feed that into the pitch, let's grab the clock to provide the gate, and let's send that to our mixer as well, and just pan these out a little bit. Now we've got a pretty decent melody. The beauty of the analog shift register, though, is that this isn't just pitch information coming out of here. It's CV, and CV can control anything, because we have the power of modular on our side. So we can use these unused outputs to send other information to these tiny voice modules. Let's maybe provide some velocity information here using these other outputs. Now we'll get something that's a bit more interesting and evolving and musical and just pleasing to listen to rather than random plucks of the same volume level. From here, there are a ton of different ways you could expand off of this idea, but one of my favorite ways is to bring in a clock divider here. So we're going to send the clock output of the analog shift register into the clock divider, and because this is normal, we don't need to connect it again. It's just going to pass that through as long as the input link is activated here. Now I've got a couple more sample and holds, and we're going to do two different things here with these modules. 
First up, we're going to send the pitch information to the sample and hold. So let's grab the output of three to this sample and hold and the output of seven to this sample and hold. Now I've got the clock of the top layer here feeding into this first sample and hold and the second layer going to the second sample and hold. Let's feed the output here to the pitch of the second tiny voice and the output here to the third tiny voice. Now we'll grab the gate information because this is driving this sample and hold which feeds the second tiny voice and we'll do the same here, grab the gate from this lower layer and if we bring up the volume, cool. To finalize this idea here, let's cross the wires a little bit with the velocity. This sample and hold is feeding the second tiny voice, so let's grab the output of that and use that to provide velocity to the third tiny voice. And then we'll cross back over here for the second tiny voice, we'll get the output of this sample and hold, which is driving the pitch information of the third tiny voice. And that gives us something a lot more interesting to listen to because we're not getting just continuous pings. By bringing in the clock divider, we've got something a bit more rhythmic and moving and interesting. Now bringing in some simple delay or reverb. We've got a beautiful melodic sequence that is a great start to a big generative patch or just something to start drawing inspiration from for your next track. The analog shift register module is one of those deceptively simple modules. It might not seem like much, but with a few clever connections, it can be pretty powerful and be a great way to wake up your cabinet and explore some new ideas inside of Voltage Modular. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully this gives you some ideas to explore inside of your own cabinets. For more information on Voltage Modular or to try it for yourself today, you can head over to cherryaudio.com.